You don't understand me. I don't understand you. So I invite you into my world, so that you can walk a mile in my shoes. You never know. I might be standing next to you. You can't always tell us apart. You don't know that we have this unless we tell you. You'll be surprised that one in four hundred people have this day-to-day -day struggle. Yet there are clues. Often we don't like being touched. Our senses are never constant, and we will become engrossed in our own topics of interest. It is in our brains. It's how we are born, and all we know. It alters our thinking. Your response to us might judge us unfairly. Given time, I learned to mask my indiscretions, inappropriate comments, and behaviors. At parties, everyone looks like they're having a fun time, but I find it awkward and uncomfortable. While other people say they are not bothered about what's going on, they can have a conversation in the context of the madness around them. I find this difficult. Filtering is not something I'm able to do. People will not hear conversations they are not involved in. I do. I hear all that is going on. Yet I cannot block out what I do not need. I, I hear, hear all, all the conversations, conversations in this space, space complicated by the music, the singing, the squeals of happiness. It is all too much for me. I know when it's too much. The blurring of voices, words, the music signals when it's time to escape. Sometimes during this time my head begins to vibrate from the music and then ache. I am pained both physically and emotionally from this sound in my head. After times like this, I feel best when I'm alone. A silent dark room gives me this. I feel calm, I feel me. It gives me nothing to think about. Somewhere I can go inside my head, into my fantasy world. A fantasy world where I am in control. There are no demands placed upon me. I do not have to have a conscious awareness of who I am, where I am, or what's going on outside. To just be me in this world. Sometimes I imagine I am the only person around. I spend my time then running my life the way I want to. Well, I have this. In reality, it feels like I will never be able to do everything. When I was younger, I didn't understand social rules. It felt like an alien language to me. Someone would say something to someone, and they would react appropriately. I remember, I received a gift. I didn't like it, and said so. People around were quick to say I was rude. There was shuffling, strange looks, but I didn't understand. Till later, when I was told. Giver looked hurt. Even I could see that. My parents looked embarrassed. I could see that too. And yet, I was simply telling the truth. I was confused by that social rule. After all, everyone says that telling the truth is the right thing to do. I thought that telling the truth was right. But eyes were the hardest of them all. Eyes are often quoted as being the window to the soul, reflecting people's thoughts and emotions. I can't see anything. I don't understand. Eyes to me are organs people used to see. Simply that. If there's a conversation running, I try to join in. I couldn't see the flow. 
couldn't judge the right time, appropriate inward or expression to make sure my involvement was right. Yet, over time, I learned to look at people's faces and eyes for longer without them hurting me. I work hard to make sure that social rules are no longer alien. I hope you'll be more aware of us after walking a mile in my shoes.